Quetzal is a platformer game I started in 2019 using Game Maker Studio. After some time working on it, the game was a huge mess. There were inconsistencies everywhere and I didn't know how to handle it. So I just kept adding more visual effects and more features like an idiot. The game didn't have a clear direction as to where to go. It was just this little character running around and jumping and hitting enemies. So I decided to pause its development. After I quit it, I took a rest from game development and then last year I thought, hey, remember how I tried to make a huge difficult game that didn't make any sense or had any structure and how I ended up burning out? Well, how about I do that, but in 3D? Can you guess what happened next? Maybe someday I'll try to remake that 3D game as well, but it's gonna take a while as I'm still sore from the experience. This year, after my second hiatus from game development, I picked up Godot around April and I decided that if I wanted to be a game developer, I actually had to finish games. So I started small, making a short space game called Space Vacuum in a week and released it on HIO. After that, I participated in the GMTK 2021 jam and made a short game in 48 hours. After finishing, I felt a bit aimless and thought about going back to 3D as I really enjoyed modeling and animating. But deep down, I knew that the biggest weakness I had to overcome was actual game and level design. So, I decided to pick up Quetzal again and see if I could restart its production using Godot. I also decided to show its progress and share my work on social media. It was something I was very nervous to do, but I think it's a great way to see what other people like and also to get in touch with other developers who are building their own projects. Let's get started. This is the last clip I made of the old game in Game Maker Studio in 2019. And this is the last clip of the game now. As you can see the characters haven't changed at all except for the colors. My original idea was for Quetzal to be a game with a lot of focus on combat. I wanted to add a skill tree and a ton of attacks, but after my previous experiences and with my current skill level, I think the smartest option is to pivot the gameplay towards platforming instead of combat. I feel the game looks very smooth right now, and adding more combat elements to it would imply building very complex state machines for all the characters. I talked this over with a close friend of mine to whom I always send all my playable stuff to. His feedback is very helpful and he always gets me out of a rut. Talking with him and playing together made us realize that it would be a mistake to try to make a complex combat system for a game I can't dedicate all my waking hours to. He also feels that the little platforming elements there are right now have more potential than the combat stuff. Since I am working a full-time job and my time is limited, my focus will be on adding traps, moving platforms, small crevices in which the character can fit, and really try to nail the dash jump mechanic I've been working on. I decided to use a less saturated palette as the old one kind of makes me sick. I think it looks better, a bit more elegant, but please let me know in the comments what you think of the two. I've also thought about using a very small palette with 3 or 4 colors, but I don't know if it'll be enough to convey all I want the player to see on the screen. Since I want Quetzal to be a very fast paced game with a strong focus on player movement, I think using such a small palette could hinder the player's ability to react. Right now Quetzal is made in pixel art, but after seeing what other people are doing with Dragon Bones, I may switch over to a vector style that I think would allow me to make visual assets faster. Since I have some experience working with rigs and animating in Blender, I think it could be a quick transition. I'm also used to working with Affinity Designer to make designy stuff, so I think making quick sketches using this tool could be even faster. I've mocked up a small design of what the character could look like in this style. Please let me know what you think. Since I don't have much time to focus on the game, I have to try and plan really well what I'll be doing. To begin with, before even starting the Godot project, I created a small game design document in Google Docs, writing down the main ideas and the lore behind the character designs. As for the planning, I've built a Kanban board in Trello to keep track of the tasks I've done and that I have to do. Starting next week, I'll be doing one week sprints in which I'll try to reach deadlines and from time to time show you guys what I've accomplished. So, that's basically the new beginning of Quetzal. Right now I'm really motivated by this project, but I do realize that I can't rely on motivation alone. In the past years, I've made some unhealthy decisions regarding my work. For example, pulling all-nighters on a Monday and going to work at 8am on a Tuesday. This time around, I'll try to have another attitude towards my projects and live life in a way that's sustainable to my well-being. I want this devlog to be a testimony of how a game can be developed and released while working full-time and not going insane or burning out in the process. Again, please like and subscribe to follow this journey, and please reach out on the comments or on Twitter. Thanks for watching, and see you all soon.